Record this bad boy. All right, we're going to start. I'm just going to go around the room. I'm going to call on you and you're up, basically. This is the hot seat, right? Because anytime you're on the phone, you never know when you're going to get in an objection, right? It comes at any time. So you got to be ready to go. So if I call on you, that means you're on. I'll let you know what the objection is going to be. And then you will role play it with Rob. Rob's going to give you two pushbacks. And we're going to keep these short, guys. These are like one minute, one, two minutes tops. You got to go in for the appointment within a minute. Right, you got one minute to go for the appointment, right? Navigate the call and go for the appointment. Um, and then Rob, you're going to start off with saying, thanks for calling, but, and then throw the objection. Got it, got it. And then and we're okay. So I'll give you an example. Um, hey, Alessandra, thank you so much for calling, but you know what? I already have an agent and I, I kind of want to keep working with my agent before I talk to anybody else. Boom, now it's on you, right? You got one minute to shoot your shot. I'll give you some pushback and let's see how you finish that. And then we're gonna give you a score. All right, does anybody wanna to volunteer to go first before I start calling on you? Roscoe, let's go Roscoe. All right, Roscoe, you're the agent, Rob's the client and we're gonna pick from the chat. Um, no longer interested. Pick his. I got some personal reasons. I'm sorry to say again. No I'm longer. No, I'm no longer interested. I got some personal reasons. Uh, just no longer interested. So Rob, go ahead. Say that to him. And then Roscoe, right. you shoot your shot. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Roscoe. Hey, listen, yes. uh, I, I appreciate you giving me a call, but I'm no longer interested. Just I'm going through some personal reasons right now. And, and and I don't think right now is the right time. Okay. Yeah, I understand personal reasons. You know, it happens to everybody. Uh, may I ask, is it something due to a uh, family situation that may be going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right now, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're just having some issues right now. That we okay, and uh, may I ask, what was the reason why you wanted to buy a house in the first place? Uh, I mean, it was just time for us to kind of, it was just an upgrade. I mean, we had a, a brand new uh, a kid together, and um, our apartment that we're currently in is just a little too small, so we it's time for us to kind of kind of go upwards get a bigger okay well, congratulations on the the new kid is it a boy or girl that's a boy thank you thank you oh that's exciting how many kids do you have now i've got four uh, i got four um right now i got my sister who has about two of them as well um and i've got like my family members uh they're all big family they have a bigger uh a family unit and um yeah it's just a big family oh so now you have an army Correct. Definitely the commander, commander in chief. All right, that's awesome. I got three myself, so I can almost feel what you're going through right now. And I know living in a smaller apartment can be very difficult, especially with the new one. Excuse me. And so, what I would recommend. Oh, there is a little con. Uh, I have my little kid here too, <laughs> trying oh. to get in the camera. All right. So I understand that you have your uh, your growing family, and you're just trying to find someplace bigger. Robert, if we're able to maybe with something that you're comfortable with, we find the place that may work out for you. Is it something you might be even interested in taking a look? I'll be honest with you, Thomas. I'm not right now. I'm not really looking at anything like that right now, just because of the issues that I'm kind of going through on a personal level. And, uh, you know, we, we just kind of decided to put things on hold. Okay. And also, uh, let me ask a, bit, a little bit more, just in case I do so find something that you may like. I, I, you know, I like to share homes. I look at homes all day long, and I definitely like to help people out. And so, um, I, I mean, Thomas, I really appreciate you reaching out, but you know, may, maybe I'm not the guy for you. Definitely, you are the guy for me. We, I feel your pain with the, uh, not a pain. I, I feel you with your family situation and it might be a little bit cramped where you're living at now, you know, and we don't have to do anything now. I just want to be here to help give you more info and help you just basically have a map of where you would take your next steps when you are ready. Uh, uh, you know what, uh, uh, Roscoe, you know, you sound like a nice guy, but, you know, why don't you give me a call back in about six months? You know, maybe maybe I should be able to kind of situate everything that's going on right now in life. And then I can uh, then we could have. We can have a conversation with clear minds. Sound fair? Oh, yeah. Okay, sounds fair enough. In six months, I'll call you back. 
Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Roscoe. All right. Thanks. Let's end it right there. Give it up for Roscoe, guys. Give it up for Roscoe. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, all right. Rob, write down Roscoe and give him a one out of five. Don't say his score, but just write down his name and write down one out of five how well okay. he did to navigate that call. Can, can we get feedback right now? Or what's how are we doing this? Um, no, we're not going to do feedback. This is just right. we've been doing all kinds of training, so it's time to put the training to use now, right? This is live live role play, right? Okay. So this is now performance. We did practice all these other times. This is now performance. Okay. This is you on stage. Um, and just a quick note, guys: if you have a distraction on the side of you, just roll with it, right? You're on a live phone call. This is a live phone call. So what would you do? If you had your kids next to you, right? Like do what you got to do. Just stay on the call because you're on a live call right now. Um, all right. I got Roscoe score. All right. Next. Who wants to go next? Just raise your hand. I'm going to get to you eventually. So just raise your hand and so we can get, get it over with. All right. Let's go. My, let's go. My. My here, I'll, I'll pick it. I'll pick it. I'll pick it. I'll pick it. All right, you pick, you pick, and then I'll do it. I'll do the role play with my okay. Okay, um, uh, on hold saving towards down payment. Okay, hey, my thanks so much for calling. I appreciate the follow up, but you know what? We kind of put things on hold because we're, we're trying to save up a little more money towards the down payment. Oh, okay. So it sounds like you're saving up a little bit more just for a down payment. But you know what, Enrique, there's good news because it's actually a new program that can actually assist you with your down payment. Um, so I'm not a lender, but what I know is that the state, there's a program where the state is going to give you 10% of the purchase price if you're planning to live there for more than five years. And if you stay there for more than five years, you can get that 10% forgiven. So that can definitely be an advantage for you. Uh, the thing about this program is that it's not going to stay for long. It's going to run out. Uh, it's going to end when it runs out of fun. So uh, aside from the down payment, is there anything else that's holding you back? Uh, no, I mean, it's just, we just want to make sure we have enough down. I mean, last time I talked to a lender, he said I needed like 10% down at least. Um, so yeah, I haven't really, I didn't hear, I didn't know there was a program like this. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of options right now, which is why it's really important for you and I to meet just to go over your options. Um, so I have an availability tomorrow or the next day around 4 to 6 p.m. Uh, would any of those time work for you? Um, possibly, but you know what? I do got to run it by my wife before I commit to you know any appointments. So I can talk mm. to her and then you know just give me a call back. No worries. I totally understand. You definitely need to run by your wife um, because happy wife, happy life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's uh, she's a little anal about that stuff, to be honest. <laughs> um, no worries. So typically, when are you guys typically free? Is it in the morning or the evening, weekdays or weekends? Um, yeah, we both work during the day. So like afternoons, uh, later afternoons, early evenings, sometimes weekends. Okay. Perfect. Uh, how about this? Let's set up a tentative appointment for maybe tomorrow um, at 4 p.m. Just so your wife is like home from work and then you guys get a little bit situated and then we can hop, can hop into a Zoom call. Um, we'll have a lender there so they can go over your options, um, see if you guys qualify for the program. And then I can help you guide you through the home buying process and kind of do an overview of what's happening in the market. Would tomorrow a uh, three or four work for you? Maybe like five ish, because yeah, we both get home at four. So, you know, by the time we settle in and stuff, yeah, maybe five ish. Okay, perfect, Enrique. So I have you down for 5 p.m. tomorrow. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting you and your wife, and hopefully we can get you a deal to get you into a home. Okay, sounds good. All right, and the role play. Good job. Let's get out for Mike. Let's go, Mike. Give her a score, Rob. Write your score down. Um, solid, solid. Um, testing out your here? skills. Yes. Do have a question though. Um, not sure if Tony have an idea, but for us here, like in Jamaica, we are not. I'm we're not so familiar with um real estate on a whole and all that it offer. And I did hear she mentioned that there is a program that offer you like a percentage. Is there such a um a yeah. program? 
Yeah, there is a program. There is a program that offers down payment assistance. It's it's uh, you have to qualify for it. So it's not the most common thing, but there is a program. We can do a whole training on that, a separate training. Uh, <laughs> yes, there there is a program, but it's not some not everyone qualifies for it. So just F, just for your information. So we're not always saying that on every call. It's just for people who have limited down payments. Do, do, uh, Especially so if they have a financial situation. They still have to qualify. They have to make money. Oh. They still have to. They have to be within a certain bracket. Um, so it's it's for someone that fits in a specific box. So for the purpose of today's call, let's not get too deep into that because right. we'll do a separate training and um, with you guys and and educate you guys on that. No problem. But so, keep so it general and just book the appointment. Right? You could say, hey, for if you run into the situation, you can say what Mai said just to get someone on on the appointment. Okay. All right, give my score, Rob. Uh, let's keep it going, guys. We've got to get through everybody. Uh, who wants to go next? Raise your hand or I'm going to call on you. Let's go, Connie. All right, Connie, you're calling Rob, and Rob already has an agent. Go, Rob. Connie, hey, listen, I appreciate you following up. But listen, I ended up uh, uh, having a really good connection with another agent. And, you know, he's he, he's been actually showing me homes. We've, we've looked about three, four properties so far. Got it. Totally understandable. You know, it's great. We really appreciate when as a client, you have multiple opinions to provide you value to make sure that you're getting the best sense of, you know, what's out there and who can really provide you, um, again, the best value. Would you possibly be open to, you know, having a conversation with me and letting me know, or sorry, letting me share with you what myself and my team can do for you? Uh, right now, he seems to be doing great. I mean, this guy's provided me with nothing but off-market properties, just like I originally uh, explained to him. So he's doing an excellent job right now in regards to what I know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, what an agent should be doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally understandable. You know, I'm sure he's just a single person. Um, on my team, we do have over 40 other agents that are quite reliable. And so if, say, you know, this person, he's unable to show you a property when it really fits for your schedule. That's something that my team can do. You know, even if I'm personally not available, that's something that they can continue to go to the property with you, provide you just as much value. And, you know, something else that we do provide is we would go over the comparable sales in the area. We talk to the listing agent on your behalf, you know, see where other offers may stand, what kind of interest there's been. And, you know, we would personally go over the disclosures with you and see what the best options are for you as well. Is that something that you would be interested in? Uh, it sounds great, but I, I'm working with one of the best teams in the area, the Brett Jennings team. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they're a big uh, uh, powerhouse here in the area. And, mm -hmm. and, and those guys, the, you know, as far as the team aspect and as far as what they, you know, the connections, they seem to be having it. I mean, how, how do you guys compare to them? Yeah, you know, we have over, I would say, 15, 17 years of experience in the game. A lot of us are Bay Area natives. And, you know, personally for myself, I was a top producer this past quarter, and I plan to be one this quarter as well. And really, what better agent to have on your side than a top producer? Is that is that something that you're interested in? Well, I, I think I, I, I am dealing with a top producing team. I mean, I'm looking Two at objections the only. Two objections okay. only, and then you can move on. Also, we are all there. Good job, honey. Let, let her close you now. Let her close hey. you now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got to let her close because you got to let me close you. Hey, come on, honey. I got, you know, I got to do this to you, girl. <laughs> um, uh, you know what I, I you know what yeah Connie you know what I mean what you're saying sounds great I mean I, I'd like to see where uh where this goes to Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I would love to set up um, a time that would work best for you um, to, you know, discuss the options that me and my team could provide for you. And then also, if you haven't already gotten a pre-approval, we do have some in-house lenders that can provide you, uh, you know, possibly a better rate if you haven't gotten already pre-approved, as they do work with over 40 other lenders. Uh, they are a wholesale broker. And so really what they're looking to find is the best deal for you. Is yep. that something that you'd be interested in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't you send me the name and the number for that person? And I'll go ahead and give them a call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, we do have a fairly booked schedule. I'd love to put on a tentative time um, just to make sure that we filled out a slot for you, make sure that it's reserved just for you. How does tomorrow, maybe around noon as well, work for you? Tomorrow at noon sounds perfect, but a phone conversation would be great. So mm -hmm. if you could have them to give me a call, I'd, be, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Yeah, you know, the way that we like to do it is either- All right, let's end it there, Point is booked. Let's go, let's go. All right, let's go, give it up for Connie. I, 
Connie, you got the hard one. You were the reigning champ last week. Um, <laughs> Rob, just Rob, just for context, because we got to keep this moving. Yeah. Two pushbacks, and then also, Rob's so used to being an agent that he's talking like an agent, right? So talk yeah. like a client, because you're saying things that only agents would say. Yeah. Say things that clients would say. Most clients don't know about off markets or teams and all that stuff. So just uh, uh, cold calling for dummies. Act like the the, the dummy. Uh, yeah, client, I'll right? do it. I'll do it. I'll do all it. Right. One, one great thing, guys. Uh, when when Tika says two questions, that's pretty much what we tell you guys. When we say push harder, that's what technically we mean by me, when we say push harder. Push harder means that you always give about two to three attempts before you start switching up your game strategy. Right. So that, that's the reason why when, that's what push harder means for us. You always right. want to ask twice, at least twice. Third time you start to get annoying after that. Right. So you want to kind of start to switch it up a bit. All right. Good stuff, guys. Let's give Connie a score. Uh, Rob, right. A score. One out of five for Connie. I got it. Write your score down. Good job, Connie. Uh, let's go. Who's next? Raise your hand. The competition is stiff today, guys. This is a close call right now. I'm... Let's go. Uh, Tyler. Let's go, Tyler. Back in the game, bro. All right. Uh, all right, Tyler. Um... Uh, uh, not, not, no longer interested. Oh, wait, uh, uh, we aren't interested. We aren't interested. So I went online. I was on Zillow. You call me, and all of a sudden, I'm not interested. So, hey, Tyler. Yeah, thanks for calling. I'm just not really interested. Hey, no worries, Enrique. Just curious, what's changed? Um, you know, we were looking a few months back, and then you know, it seems like the market's all crazy and all over the place. And I just, I don't know if it's a good time to buy. I definitely hear you out, Enrique. I'm working with a lot of people, much like yourself, where you know they're not too sure where the market's going. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just, I don't know. You turn on the news, and it's a different story every day. Hey, definitely hearing you out. Well, you know what. I definitely understand where you're coming from, Enrique. What I'd love to offer you is just a breakdown of what's going on in today's market in the areas you're looking for. That way you have a clear idea of what's going on. And then at that point, you can go ahead and make that decision. Doesn't that make sense to you? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, yeah, but I'm just not sure. Uh, I, I don't know. I might just think of waiting after the holidays. Got it. No worries, Enrique. Well, here, I mean, I'd love to at least set up a time for us to meet over a call. This way I can go over this information with you. And then at that point, if it makes sense, we can definitely uh, go ahead and move forward. If it doesn't, we can shake our hands and go our separate ways. How's that sound? Yeah, I guess there's no harm in that. I just I just don't want to, you know, I don't want to be obligated to, to do anything. No worries. We never tie down anybody to buying a house. That's always your decision. So we, how about we set up this time? Uh, I'm available tomorrow between 12 and four uh does those times work for you uh yeah maybe like three three ish excellent enrique so i'll go ahead and send you over a zoom link for our meeting and i'll just have a lender on the call as well just to break down some numbers for you sound fair oh, all right cool all right let's go let's give it up for tyler dude that was money right there a protege right there back in the game <laughs> you could tell tyler's trained guys uh he's made a lot of calls just fyi all right good stuff tyler uh, give Tyler a score, Rob. All right, who's next? Let's go. Raise your hand. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Everyone gets a chance. 50 bucks first place, 25 second, 10 bucks third place. But most of all, you get bragging rights. Let's go, Dewey. All right, Dewey, okay. you're calling Rob. You're calling Rob and um, Rob, you know, he only wants to buy if he can find a good deal. Oh, um, uh, hey, Dewey, I appreciate the follow up, man. But you know, I, I only want to kind of want to, I only want to buy if I can find a great deal right now in today's market. Yeah, I totally understand. You just want to buy when you find a good deals. Um, have you have a chance to look at the current uh, market right now? Uh, or have you have a chance to take a look at homes right now? Uh, we've only been kind of surfing on Zillow and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, uh, I totally agree. Zillow is the best place to look at homes. But what we have here at PRG is that we have exclusive on market and off market homes that I can send you uh, to take a look at. Would that be something that you'd be interested in? 
Yeah, 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 I would. Can you send that uh, the off market list to my email, please? I'd, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, that. yeah, definitely. I would love to send you some off market uh, listing. But before we do that, uh, I would recommend us sitting down uh, within 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, I'll add my lender in the call so I can take a look at your finance. We can go over your finance uh, to see if it makes sense to for you to even look at homes and then see what your limits is. Um, I have availability around 1, 3, or 5 p.m. Uh, on Friday. Would that work for you? Any of those times? Um, Dewey, I, I don't need a, a lender. I'm, I'm actually an investor. I'm all cash offer. So I, I'm kind of ready to go, except if I can find the perfect house. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It sounds like you are already know what you're looking for and you're going to purchase in all cash. But uh, before we do that, we, we still had to meet up and actually go over some of the criteria that you're looking for. And I uh, this is for me to get a better understanding of what you're looking for. Uh, it's, it's a small meeting. It's only uh, 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, we'll go over it really quickly. And then uh, I would like to introduce myself because we, since we're working together, we, we like to uh, introduce each other. So uh, it'll be really quick. It's only for, uh, uh, 30 minutes. Um, I do have availability around around three and five on Friday. Um, any of those times would work for me? Would any of those times work for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, one of those times would work. And, and I can get this off market list, right? That you were talking about? Yes, yes. I will, I'll hope you get those off market listing. We can go check it out together. And um, yeah, we'll see more once we, uh, once I, after our meeting, I get to know you better uh, and, and get to know what you're looking for. Then uh, we'll, we'll definitely uh, go out there and take a look at those homes. Okay, sounds good. I appreciate the phone call. And yeah, I appreciate the phone call, Robert. And I will see you on uh, at three p.m. Uh, what time work for you? I, I didn't. All right, I didn't let's go. It. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dewey, don't don't unbook the appointment, bro. You already booked it. Don't unbook it. All right, let's give Dewey a score. Let's give Dewey a score. All right, let's give Dewey a score. All right, all right, all right. You guys, relax. <laughs> Relax. It's just us. It's just us. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're going to be okay. All right. Who wants to go next? Volunteers first, and then I call on someone. No one's raising their hand. All right. Liliana, you ready? So, hey, just FYI, like if, if I say who wants to go and then you start looking down, you're the one I'm going to call on, just FYI. Okay. <laughs> just look at the camera. <laughs> All right. Uh, which one, Rob? Give me the objection. Oh, um, the objection is be anyone on that list. It can be the same one too. It doesn't have to be a new one. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Home prices. Uh, uh, home prices are uh, are dropping. Home prices are dropping. Okay. Uh, hey, Liliana. Thank you so much for calling. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if we're gonna wait. I mean, I see home prices going down, so. I'm wondering if I should just wait and see if I can get a better deal. No, I mean, I definitely understand your concern. I mean, in some pockets, prices are dropping, but there are still some areas in the market where they're holding strong. Um, what I would recommend, because you do have some concern, is for us to kind of just sit down, um, possibly via Zoom, and we can kind of look at the market and see where the opportunity may be uh, for you to purchase. Does that sound like a good idea? Um. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, do you think there are some good deals? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, Can you kind of just go over your criteria with me really quickly? Last um, time, oh, it was. A, are you still looking for a single family home? Yeah, yeah. Single family um, in San Jose, uh, maybe South San Jose, maybe Morgan Hill or Gilroy. Just kind of more south because I, I work in that area. No, yeah. I, it, you asked for my opinion. And in my opinion, honestly, I think there is a lot of opportunity, um, especially in those areas. Um, I'd love, to, like I said, just sit down with you and kind of just do a deep dive of the market so I can show you where those opportunities are, where those opportunities are, especially for those single family homes that you uh, mentioned that you wanted to be in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, that sounds good. That makes sense. Yeah, perfect. Um, so um, I do have some availability on Thursday or Friday around like 5 p.m. Would that work for you? Yeah, maybe Thursday at 5. Perfect. I'll pencil you in. All right, let's go. All right, give it up for Lily. Let's go. All right, Liliana, give her a score. Let's give her a score, Rob. Write down a score for Lily. All right, let's go. Who's next? Who's next? Let's go. 
Raise your hand. All right, I'm going to call on someone that's new just to test you guys out, see what naturally comes to mind. Uh, Juan, Sandra, or Alejandra, who wants to go? One of you has to raise your hand. Either one. You just, you just throw whatever comes to your mind. It doesn't matter, right? Like, you guys are newer, but this is just your chance to practice and shoot your shot. All right, let's go, Juan. All right, there we go. There we go. Juan raised his hand. Let's go. All right, Juan, you're calling Robert. He was an online lead that came in six months ago. You're just following up, and Rob wants to hold on because uh, he wants to save a little bit more money for his down payment. Uh, hey, Juan, uh, you know what? I really appreciate you following up with me. Um, listen, to be quite honest with you, I'm, I'm, I kind of feel like I want to wait a little bit longer to save on the down payment so my wife and I can save a little bit more before we decide to kind of jump in. Oh, gotcha. No, if anything, I you know, completely understand, but just to make sure, you know, you're comfortable with uh, the pricing you know, or if anything, the payment is going to come after that. Um, but when's the last time, if anything, you've gotten kind of pre-qualified or understood what kind of down payment you're going to need for the pricing you're looking for? Well, we, we kind of have an idea. We ended up getting pre-qualified, I think, like six months ago and uh, mm -hmm. uh, kind of gave us an idea of where we're at. Yeah. Yeah, and then uh, when you got pre-qualified, since then there's been some programs that I guess we can help with some of the assistance for the down payment. Um, has did anybody go over that, or have you looked into it recently? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, we were going through the uh, the, the program of a ten percent uh, that they were going to let us borrow ten percent and something about a ten year. Uh, I don't know too much of the details on that one, but that was, was presented to us last time. Gotcha. And then was that the only program that they uh, presented to you? Have you looked into like an FHA? Is this going to be your first home? Yeah, we, I, the, well, the reason why I got into it was because of the FHA. I, my, my friends were buying properties, you know, they're putting down really, really low payments. Uh, but the mm -hmm. problem with that is that our payments were kind of a little bit high. So we kind of figured, you know, let's put things on hold for a bit. Gotcha. I'm not completely understand. Uh, but with that being said, it's like, uh, it seems like, um, you're trying to save up for a, a bigger down payment, but what I do with my cl um, my clients or like my home buyers is to really provide them the process from A to Z, and then we also have a, our own lending our lending team here, so they can actually say, hey, you know, what's the down payment you're actually going to need, or more than anything, to see what's the comfortable payment that you're going to want, right? So with that being said, you know, I have actually some time on this Friday coming up, you know, we just morning or afternoon work for you where we can actually break that down and let you know what's are going to be a comfortable down payment and if any payment for you to to be able to look for this at home yeah you know what i mean i i'll give it a try i mean i do want to buy a home um and that's the only thing that's kind of holding me back so yeah i mean i, I i'd like to hear you guys out and see what you guys have it sounds good so let me see here so i have three o'clock on friday that works for you actually three o'clock won't work but i have like four o'clock four thirty uh looking at my calendar here hey look you know, I got time at that time, so I'll send you a Zoom meeting here and, you know, send you a calendar invite, and I'll give you a call Thursday morning just to make sure that time still works for you. Right on. All right, let's go. Wrap it up. Juan, good job, bro. Give it up for Juan. Let's go. Put him on the spot, bro. Give, give Juan a score, Rob. Write a score down for Juan. All right, who wants to go, guys? We still got 20 more minutes, so we got, we're going to get through everyone today. Just FYI, everyone is going to go. We're going to keep these short and moving fast. So who wants to go? All right, let's go, Teddy. Teddy, let's do it. All right, which one, uh, which objection, Rob? Uh, okay, hold on, let me get it. Let's do, let's do, let's do, um, uh, these rates are crazy high. Crazy high, high-ass rates. All right. Hey, Teddy, thanks for calling me, but these rates are hella high, and I don't know if it's a good time to buy. You know, I'm just, uh, my friend, actually my grandpa, he told me not to buy because the rates are too high, so I don't know. I'm just a little discouraged. I don't know if I'm just not sure what to do. You know, I totally agree, Enrique, but, and so do my buyers. So your grandpa's not crazy. What I'm getting is, what I'm getting at is, are you waiting for the rates to drop? Um, I mean, I don't know. I just, he said the rates are high right now, so I should wait. You know, that was my grandpa. My grandpa's, you know, smart guy. So kind of listen to what he says. So he just told me maybe wait till the rates come down. Um, uh, I'm just not sure. Honestly, I have some money saved, you know, I have a good job, but I just don't know if it's a good time to, to invest. Hey, you know what? In this market where the rates are high, we have been able to not outbid other buyers. 
And for this interest rates, we've been able to move a lot of people into their dream homes for with seller credits and um, prices below ask uh, prices below asking prices. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, is so you think I can get something below the asking price? Yes, I do. And what I recommend is we sit down and see what the numbers are looking like. What when I'm available Thursday and Friday, which time works best for you? Uh, I have maybe some time on Thursday, but I'm gonna check with my grandpa. Let me talk to my grandpa again, see what he says. See if he hey, you I know should. what, Enrique? I, I appreciate you telling me that. How about you and bring him and we can go over the numbers with your grandpa and you? Oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I think that'd be good because, you know, I, I trust his opinion. You know, he's taught me a lot of things, so I trust his opinion. So, yeah, I think you'd probably want to hear what you have to say. Awesome. That'd be great. How does Friday at 3 p.m.? Yeah, it sounds good. 3 p.m. All right, let's do it. All right, let's give it up. Go, Teddy. Point me. Give Teddy a score, Rob. All right, all right, all right. Who wants to go next? Who wants to go next? Please raise your hand. Uh, Jomo, Kassan, or Tony, either one of you. I could go. All right, let's go, Tony. Uh, you're calling Rob and Rob already has an agent. He has an agent he's talking to and he's not, he doesn't really, he's not sure if he wants to meet with someone else. Uh, hey, hey uh, uh, Tony. Hey, Tony, this is, uh, um, hold on, hold on. I'm thinking about the agent side. Hold on. Uh, hey, Tony, I appreciate you following up with me. Uh, I, I'm actually work, currently working with another agent right now and uh, he seems to be doing a great job. Yeah, I totally understand. You know, don't want to step in anyone's toes, but uh, what if we could provide you with a better experience? Would you give us an opportunity? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what does that mean? What, what does that mean? Well, well, you know, we have, we have assist a lot of buyers during this time to purchase property, also sellers as well, you know, who are looking to sell their homes. And we have seen where we have outbid a lot of, a lot of deals there. And if it's a case where we could just sit down with you, uh, go over some, go over your goals, see what you're about and, you just, what you could do is to compare to see what is it that we're offering and what is it that the agent you have is offering and compare to see who would be the best person for you to work with. Uh, you know, it doesn't hurt to have options and I'm sure you'd want to make the right decision at the end of the day because this is a big transaction that you'll be making, you know. Let me ask you a question though. Um, for you to make uh, such a huge transaction off your life, you know, would you rather go ahead and speak with one agent or would you have multiple persons who you can speak with and see what makes the most sense for you? Uh, it sounds great, Tony, uh, uh, but when I started off, I ended up interviewing like five agents. And uh, five? Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and, and this person ended up doing a really great job on it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, well, definitely not saying you should not go ahead and work with your agent that you have. All I'm yep. saying, you know, is just to build a relationship with other agents and see what's out there. Right, right. Um, well, I mean, I, I, I like to I like to know more of what you guys have to offer. And we'd definitely love to assist you with that. You know, we'd love to sit down with you. Here, what we could do, though, I could have you speak with my agent and also one of my lenders on a call for them to go over the process with you, let you know what we're about, and then. From there, you can decide if we make sense or not. Right, right, right. I mean, that, that sounds good. I don't have a problem with that. Awesome. All right. So does tomorrow at 2 p.m. works for you? It does. It does. Tomorrow at 2 p.m. works fine. All right. Let's All right. go. Let's go. Good job. Good job. Tony, give Tony a score. Give Tony a score. Ooh, it's coming. It's, it's coming close. It's coming close, guys. A lot of you guys are neck and neck. All right, who wants to go next? Let's go. Who hasn't went? Alessandra, you're up. All right, which objection, Rob? 
Which objection? Let me see. I think we kind of, let's see. Hold on. I know we've gone through all of them already, right? Yeah, just circle back. We'll just rotate them. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's do, let's do uh, a, a big one. We're not interested. We're not interested. Alessandra, are you there? Okay. Yeah. Let's turn the camera off. All right, <laughs> Alessandra. Um, yeah, thanks for calling. Uh, thanks for following up. Yeah, I'm just not interested um, anymore. What have what has changed, Enrique? Um, I don't know. I kind of got discouraged. You know, we we were we had made some offers before, and then we got outbid, and so we kind of just put everything on hold. I don't know. Did your agent tell you why you guys got um uh, what was going on with those offers that you guys made? Um, yeah, I mean, it just seemed like the market was like crazy. Um. You know, this was probably about six months ago, though. So we kind of put things on hold since then. Totally makes sense. Well, the market, well, good news, the market has totally changed. What we can do is we can jump in a quick Zoom call and go over what the current, current market is doing. Um, because in some areas, it has definitely, definitely slowed down. Got it. And uh, when you say slowed down, like, you know, what is, what is, what what is it, it depends on the areas, Enrique, but some areas you are seeing homes um, going at asking or a little bit under. Um, and we also do have discounted homes, but I can provide all that information once we meet. Oh, wow. I didn't, yeah, I didn't even know that. Um, yeah, this agent I was working with, I honestly, he hasn't really called me. So it's been about six months. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Enrique. Um, well, let's do this. Um, we can jump on a call tomorrow at five or Wednesday, or I don't even know what day it is. Uh, um, tomorrow at five or um, Thursday? Today's Thursday. <laughs> Thursday? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, do you think it's a better time right now? Like, it's... Cause like, I don't want to, I just don't want to go out there and get outbid again. And I just, I couldn't compete with people going, you know, a hundred thousand, 200,000 over. No, yeah. Yeah. And like I mentioned, um, homes, some homes, it depends on the neighborhood. Um, some are going at asking or a little bit under, it's just depends on the neighborhood. But once we, we meet, we can go over, um, all the information and. Okay. Yeah. That, that sounds fair. Cool. And we can see you or when are you available? You said um, I have availability tomorrow, tomorrow at five or Thursday. I'm actually open. Uh, uh, I couldn't hear you. What was that? Uh, we can meet tomorrow at five or on Thursday. I'm open. My schedule is pretty open. Okay. Yeah. Thursday afternoon at, at five works. Okay. Let's wrap it up, guys. Let's give it up. Good job, Alessandro. Solid, solid, solid. Let's give Alessandro a score. Uh, Rob, give her a score. I'll write down my score. All right, let's go. Who's next? Who's next? Who hasn't gone yet? Um, Lisa, you available? Vivian, Kayla, Sandra, Jomo, Kassan. Yeah, hey, I'll go. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Oh, Andre. What's up? Andre. Andre. Let's go, Andre. You're calling right. Rob, and Rob wants to wait until next year because the rates are too high right now, and he's just not sure it's a good time um andre hey i appreciate you following up uh listen i, I spoke with my with my friends and they're telling me to wait till next year uh, they're saying the home price they're going to end up falling and the interest rates are going to fall as well so we're thinking about just holding off at the moment totally i mean your friends definitely have done some homework makes sense uh the market rates are quite high uh but you know right now with uh, the lack of competition and more homes on the market there's actually a lower price going on at the moment, allowing people to get into the market at a lower price and then get a refinancing later on for uh, lower interest rates. Um, I know it can be concerning for a lot of people, but they do have a lot of different programs available that make it very easy now to get, consider seeing their options at least. Okay, okay. I mean, uh, um, uh, but but I mean, I'm, I'm trying to get at the lowest point of this of this whole you know, uh, uh, market. Yeah. Uh, do you think the prices are going to fall even more next year? I, uh, I can tell you that with markets is very unpredictable. There's a chance it could go low, but it could be going back right up to what it was before. So, you know, it is never a bad idea to consider your options. Um, what, what, what I recommend 
is that we take the time to sit down with one of our uh, financial agents. Um, they'll help you crunch numbers and at least give you an idea. So say if there is a home that you are looking for, that is what is your dream? And what's something that you want to jump on before it's gone? You have the option. That's what you want, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, and, and again, what, what are the benefits of, of doing today as opposed to next year? I mean, if you would want greater detail, I would recommend we sit down maybe tomorrow or later this week. Um, and I have a financial officer who can break down everything for you in greater detail. It sounds fair, Andre. I, I, I like that. I, I, this is probably going to take forever telling me over the phone. So yeah, I'm up for that. Great. Is there a day that works for you? Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, let's like, say Thursday at like three o'clock. There you go. There you go. Th uh, uh, that, that works good. Beautiful. Great. Well, thank you for your time, Rob. And we'll call you back around three o'clock. I'll send you a calendar invite and uh, we'll move from there. Right on, right on. Good job, right, Andre. Just give it up. Give it up for Andre. Let's go, Andre. Seen some drastic improvement, Andre. Good stuff, bro. Thank I you. like how you use that tie down. That is what you want, right? You guys caught that. That's what you want, right? Give, give Andre a score. Um, all right. Uh, who hasn't gone yet? Who hasn't gone? Uh, Jomo. You ready? Jomo's frozen. Alejandra, you ready? Okay, you're not ready, but you're going to go anyway. Let's go. Let's do it. You shoot your shot. Just do what it comes natural. That's it. Don't worry, okay? Um, practice. All right. I have a friend in the business. I have a friend in the business, okay? Uh, unmute yourself, Alejandra. Hey, Alejandra. Uh, yeah, thanks for calling. I uh, appreciate it. You know, I actually have a friend that's in the business and, you know, I was thinking of just probably working with them. So kind of not sure if I want to meet with anybody else yet. Okay, well, I mean, it's great that you have a friend in the business, but it's always good to um, get different opinions and have different um, options. Yeah, uh, I, you know, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, so we actually have really good things that we could offer you. We have um, plenty of in-house lenders that you could choose from. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, um, we have plenty of in-house lenders that you can choose from, which is really great. Um, Whoever's next to her, mute your uh, mute your computer. Oh, and the aliens! The aliens are coming. Yeah, it looks like everybody's muted. Is everyone's mute? No, uh, but mute your own computer, not the not the Zoom. Mute your computer so the sound's not coming out of your computer. That's why it's echoing. Yeah, mute your computer. Oh. Turn your sound down. Turn your volume down on your computer, whoever's next to her. I think it's good. There you go. All right, Alejandro, try that again. Hey, Alejandro, thanks for calling. Um, yeah, I have kind of an agent I'm already talking to. He's, he's, a, he's a friend of mine. He's been in the business for a long time. So he's not, not yeah, not really interested right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's always great to have somebody that you know, but it's also great to have a few different options to pick from. I mean, who doesn't like options, right? So the really great thing about us is that we have um, plenty of in-house lenders that you could choose from and just hear different opinions to get you the best deal possible. Okay. Um. Remember, you're going for the appointment. You're going for the appointment. Okay, so we could actually set you up um, with an appointment with the lender just so you can hear about different options. How does Friday at 4 o'clock work for you? Uh, yeah, I'm not available Friday. Okay, so what day and time works best? Um, Thursday. I have I have a day off on Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, Any time? Um, I don't know what, what time do you have? Two o'clock. Two o'clock? Uh, yeah, I could do two o'clock. Okay, sounds good. So we'll put you down for two o'clock on Thursday and then um, you can go from there. 
All right, sounds good. Let's give it up, Alejandro. Good job, good try. And I'll put you on the spot. Let's do it. Give Alejandra a score. We're almost done, guys. Let's see. Don't escape. Alejandra. All right, give Alejandra a score. Um, all right, we got a couple more minutes, guys. I want to get give everyone a chance. Lisa, Kayla, Vivian, Sandra, Miles. Miles didn't go, huh? You, you go? You better not hide from me, Miles. Come on. Miles been, Miles been staring at the camera all day. Brenda, like all right, who wants to go? One of you guys that I just called, raise your hand. Because if you don't go, you don't enter in the contest, right? I got 50, 50 bucks, first place that I'm giving away. I'll take first place. Oh, let's go, Brenda. Let's go, all Brenda. Right. Brenda right. disagree. You better Brenda bring the heat then, Brenda. Talking all that smack. All right, Brenda, you're calling Rob, and Rob, um, he wants to hold off because he wants to save a little more money on his down payment. Okay. Uh, okay. Hey, hey, Brenda, thank you for uh, giving me a call. Um, I, I'm going to hold off for a little bit. I'm, I'm, I, I, I need to save a little bit more money before I decide to make a big jump. Okay. Hey, Rob. Um, thanks for your interest. Um, can I ask you, what are your long-term real estate goals? Um, I'm just, I just want to stop paying rent. Uh, right now I'm paying, I'm paying a, a buttload of rent and I just want to kind of uh, um, just thinking about just getting a home. Yeah, great. Um, that's why saving money is super important because we do need that to purchase a home. Um, so if we find you a great deal, would you be able to move forward? Um, sorry, totally messed that one up. Okay, let's go again. Okay. <laughs> Try again. Um, uh, hey, Brenda, I appreciate the phone call. Uh, quite honestly, I just kind of want to wait. Uh, uh, right now, I'm currently renting and and. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to get out of get out of the whole being the, the, the getting out of the rent rent race. Okay, great. So, Robert, what would need to happen for you um, to move forward to purchase a home? Um, I would need to save up more money. Okay, so once you save up more money, are you ready to move forward? Yes. Okay. So, um, how much money do you have to save? to move forward with purchasing a home? Uh, right now, I have about $350,000 saved. Okay, $350,000. That's actually a pretty healthy down payment. <laughs> uh, what is your um, like home price? Like, What are you looking for in a home? Um, well, I, I've been looking at these new uh, uh, condo townhomes in Milpitas that are popping up, these brand new places, and they okay. look amazing. That would probably be the best thing for my lifestyle right now. Okay, great. And uh, what's the purchase price for these new construction homes? I think right now I saw them running around for about a million dollars. You got 15 seconds to book the appointment. Okay, great. So what I recommend is that we uh, jump on a Zoom call. We'll do a consult with a mortgage lender, make sure that you are qualified with your financial status with 350,000 down um, with a $1 million purchase price. And what's your credit score? Uh, I haven't checked in a long time, but it seems to be pretty good. Okay, pretty good. So I'll just say it's around 750. Okay, great. So um, does tomorrow at 4 p.m. work for you? Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that'll work. Okay, great. I'll see you tomorrow at 4. I'll send okay. you the calendar invite. Thank you. All right, let's go. Give it up for Brenda. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> uh, All right, give Brenda a score. Let's do one more, and then we're going to tally up the winners. One more. Who wants to enter, guys? This is your chance to enter. I got 50 bucks for first place, 25 for second, and 10 bucks for third place. Who hasn't gone yet that would like to enter? Wow. Uh, Miles, are you looking down? Does that mean you do not want to enter? What does that mean? Some no, of you I'm listening. Can't afford to not enter, guys. Some of you guys can't afford to not enter. All right, we got to we got to make some money right now. All right. I have Vivian. Vivian, raise your hand first. Let's go. Vivian. All right. Uh, Rob, which objection? Where's Vivian at? All right. Vivian. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What am I going to do? Let's do, uh, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, let's uh, do. I can't find anything out on the market that I like. Okay. 
Hey, Vivian, uh, thanks so much for calling. Yeah, I don't know. I, we might just hold off. I, you know, I've looked at some homes and I can't really find anything that kind of, you know, matches what I'm looking for. Totally understand, Enrique. And I'm pretty sure that you have a lot of criteria that you want to check off when looking for a home. Is that correct? Yeah, I just got a couple unique things that 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 I need for for the house. Perfect. Well, I would love to go over all of those things with you to see if we could find anything that would fit your criteria. I would love to set up a Zoom meeting and we can just go over what you would like to, in your home and also look through to see if there's anything that would match. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. I mean, honestly, every agent tells me that. I've talked to a few agents, but I kind of have some unique things that I need and they haven't been able to find it. Totally. And I would love to discuss what some of those unique things are. So <laughs> I'd love to discuss what those unique things are and also, um, and also assist you in any other uh, questions that you have about the real estate market. So I have Friday at 5 p.m. How does that sound, Enrique? Yeah, I'm just not sure if you can find what I need in my house. Like <laughs> I, I have a unique thing that I need and I'm not sure if you can find it. So I don't want to waste your time. Um, <laughs> What is the unique thing that you're looking for, Enrique? What is the unique thing that you're looking for, Enrique? Oh, all right. Um, yeah, I actually need uh, something that is uh, wheelchair compatible. I need to have, I have a disabled uh, kid mm -hmm. and I need to make sure it has, it's not on a busy street and it has kind of a wheelchair ramp uh, built in the front. Of course. Um, I don't, you know, I would build one myself, but I don't have a lot of money to, to build one. So I'm, I'm hoping I can find something that already has one built. Totally. So I'm hearing that you use something wheelchair accessible and also not on a busy street. Is that correct? Yeah. Okay. I would love to help find you um, a home that has all of those things. Uh, I can meet with you on Friday at 5 p.m. How does that sound? And we can go over to <laughs> All right. Uh, all right, for the sake of time, I gave you the appointment. All right, let's give it up for Vivian. All right, 5 p.m. Friday. Vivian, real quick, though. I gave you three shots to ask me what is what was it that I'm looking for, right? So here's some quick pointers. These are three things that stood out to me, guys, from all these calls. Number one is do not just bypass whatever the objection is. A lot of people are bypassing the objection and just going straight to their pitch. So when someone says, hey, I decided to wait, Remember, repeat and approve. Hey, you decided to wait. I totally understand. Why did you decide to wait, right? You got to peel back that onion. Understand my logic, why I decided to wait for what unique thing I need or what I think about the interest rates or how I came to that information. You got to spend some time on that before just going for the appointment, right? And um, I didn't see, I saw some of that, some of you guys did it, but there was a lot of that missing from a lot of us. And I think that's just gonna make your calls a lot more effective. Cause when I know that you care about what I need, then I'm gonna care about talking to you, right? No one cares until they know you care. Does that make sense? So if I told you, hey, I wanna wait because of the rates and then you just go, okay, okay, yeah, I know the rates are high, but let's go ahead and meet and, and talk about that and get you, get you to buy a home. What, what do you have to do to move forward? It's like, hey, did you not hear me? I just told you I want to wait and I have some fear about the market or about the rates. So you got to go into that a little bit, peel that back. That was the main thing. And then the second thing was when you're trying to book a time, some of you guys are picking times out of thin air. How about Wednesday at 2.47? Does that work? Right? So here's the strategy. Hey, do mornings or afternoons typically work for you? Mornings, great. I have Wednesday or Thursday. I have a 10 a.m. or a 12 or an 11 a.m. Wednesday or Thursday. So you always give people two options, right? Because some of you guys are going, okay, how about Friday at 6.15? Nope, all right, how about Wednesday at four, right? And it's like, you're just shooting like, you're shooting uh, like, you know, whatever. I don't know what the term is, but you're just, you're just like hoping, you're throwing a Hail Mary, right? So remember, two options, right? Morning or afternoon, then they're going to tell you afternoon. Great. I have this day and this day at these times in the afternoon. Remember, if you give people two choices, they'll pick one. All right. So those are two strategies I want you guys to take away. Um, let's make sure we give Vivian a score. Hang with me, guys, for a couple minutes. We're going to tally up the scores. 
and see what we got. All right. Uh, Rob, what was your score for Roscoe? 3.5. One out of five. No, it's one out of five. One, two, three, four, five. No half numbers. Well, three, 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 three. A three. Okay. I had a three for Roscoe as well. So total score of six. What about for my? For my, I have a four. I have a four as well. Total score of eight. Connie. It was four and a half, but I give her four. No, All right. no half. You were a little hard on her. I got I gave Connie a four. Connie had a challenge today. So you got an eight. Tyler. I gave that guy a five. I gave Tyler a five as well. You got a 10. Dewey. Uh Dewey, Dewey, Dewey. Dewey. Oh, I didn't write Dewey's number. Ooh. But if I remember Dewey's, I think Dewey's was at. I think Dewey was three as well. I gave him a three also. Yeah. All right. So we're right on line six. Total score six. Liliana. Uh, Liliana, I gave her a four. I gave her a four as well. She got an eight. Juan. Juan, I gave, I gave, I gave Juan a four. I gave him a four as well. He got an eight. Teddy. Uh, Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. Hold on, bro. Let me, let me go back to my, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Teddy, Teddy, Teddy. I gave him a three. I gave him a three as well. Damn, we need Robert spot on right here. Uh, Tony. Uh, I gave Tony a three and a half, but since there's no more halves, I, I, it's a three. A three. I gave her a four. Okay, yeah. so total score is seven. Uh, Alessandra. I gave Alessandra a four. Okay, I gave Alessandra a three, so total score of seven. Andre. I gave... Uh, I gave uh, oh this is gonna be this is tough. I, 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 I gave I gave Andre a three and a half. There's no half. It's a three, but I can see him being a four. Okay, I gave him a four. So which one is it, three or four? I'll give him a four just to be nice because he's. he's uh, he, he, I gave him know. a four too. Uh, great improvement, Andre from right, from right. last calls, bro. Uh, Alejandra. Alejandra, let me see. Let me go back to where my other list is at. Alejandra, I gave her a three. I gave her a three as well. So six, Brenda and Vivian. Brenda four, Vivian four. Okay, Brenda four. I gave Brenda a three. Sorry, Brenda. Vivian, I gave her a three as well and you gave her a four. So total score is seven. Close. So we got first place. First place with Tyler. Let's give it up for Tyler with a score of 10. Tyler, put your camera on. Put your camera on, bro. Tyler's been, uh, you know, Tyler's been gone for a little while. He had some stuff he was taking care of, but he's back in. And just FYI, my boy Tyler is a beast on the phones. He's been here for a while, and we all had a hand in personally training him. So it's like riding a bike, right, Tyler? Just get back on, bro, and those skills are already ingrained. Awesome job, Tyler, with a score of 10. The second place score would be an 8. So we got a tie for 8. So I got my Connie. Liliana, Juan, Andre with an eight. So those of you guys all got tied for second place. And then a score of seven would be your third place winner. So we got Tony, we got Alessandra, we got Brenda, and we got Vivian with third place with a score of seven. So all you guys are going to get a prize. First place gets 50 bucks. If you tied for second, you get 25. Damn, I'm paying up today. Um, and if you got third place, you're getting 10 bucks. You can either, uh, Amazon or, uh, Starbucks, Amazon or Starbucks gift card. Um, I'm going to type it in the chat in the Slack. Please reply if you want an Amazon card or if you want a Starbucks card. All right, let's give a round of applause for everybody who shot the shot today, who participated. Um, and one thing I want to tell you guys is you guys are getting better and better by the day. I want you guys to recognize the progress that you guys have made. Some of you guys started off at a one or a two when you first joined us, and now you're at a three, a four, a five, and you guys are kicking ass. So remember, showing up to these things and practicing and putting yourself out there is what makes you better. So uh, you guys should feel good about yourselves. And I was surprised with some of you guys who are new, who just went in there, and you guys did pretty freaking good. Juan, good freaking job, bro. Good job, dude. Liliana, what you got? I just wanted to uh, ask Connie if it was her birthday and uh, so we can sing happy birthday. Yes, it is <laughs> Connie's birthday. We shouted her out on Slack, but now that we got everyone here, 
Everyone at the office, let's freaking make some noise for Connie. Let's go. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Guys, I appreciate you guys. Rob, you got anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 I, I think, uh, uh, you, you, can we stay on a little bit longer, Kiki, or no? Yeah, we can, guys. If, any, if you have to leave, that's fine, but stay yeah. on for a couple minutes if you need to. If you guys want to leave, guys, it's cool. I, I, think it's, I think it's really important to kind of learn off of what's going, where, where, where we made the changes, right? So, um, yeah. Uh, so, I, I think a lot of the things that I saw, guys, was, we were, we were doing a lot of telling, right. As opposed to asking questions and, and, and selling to me. And I think Enrique is probably on the same page is, is selling is more of an asking question thing. My brought up a really good plan, right. About, I don't know, a 10 year, I don't even know the plan. It was, it was 10% down the whole bit, but let's, if we, if we, if we change the wording a little bit, it would sound a lot more effective. Right. So let's just say, for example, like I say, Hey, listen, um, I don't know who, who, who am I going to call Let's call Dewey. Right. Say, hey, Dewey, let me ask you this. If there was a program out there that would allow you to, um, uh, if there was a program out there that would allow you to, I don't know, put down 10% and you don't have to repay that, is that something that you'd be interested in, right? At once you end up answering that question, at that point, what you would do is you would say, hey, listen, well, I, you know, this is the reason, this is exactly the reason why you and I should meet up sooner than later. You know, would you be have some time, you know, next week or in two days or whatever the case may be to, to, to have a quick conversation about this, right? Yeah. So there's a difference between you telling somebody, which is going to go over the head. Look, I, I'm I've been doing this for 17 years, and that the program I caught bits and pieces of the program that my said, right? So now imagine someone that's brand new has no idea what's going on. But if you frame the question a little bit differently, right, to to hit the key points, you know that's that's how I think you should be able to entice someone to come in, right? Yeah. So, so try, try changing the framework up of, of less telling and more asking, right? So you can, you can take anything that you want to tell and flip that into a question base where it now gets them intrigued, it gets them thinking, and it gets them thinking mo moving forward mentally, right? Because it's really easy to say, yeah, that sounds great, but it's a lot, it's a lot more effective if it comes out of their own mouth. So now the, what I want you guys to think about is that I want you to start figuring out how to play a game where the answer comes out of their mouth, not your mouth. Does that make sense? And Let the way to do that, to that, Rob, can I add something to that? Yeah. I want you guys to get the term interested out of your vocabulary, right? Because I think it leads to a mistake because when you're asking someone, would you be interested in this? Or are you interested in this? It's almost like you want them to make a decision if they want to move forward or not. Right. Instead, you, instead of saying, are you interested? Say, would you want to learn more about this, yeah. right? Would you want to set a time to explore this option? Would you want to set a time to learn more about this? Would you want me to send you this information? Would you want to get on a call and have me break it down for you, right? Because it's different, right? Like, hey, there's this great program. You know, you can save this. You don't have to put a large down payment. Would you be interested in that? Yeah. It's like you're trying to get them to give you a commitment and they still don't know, right? Instead, Hey, there's this great program that we've been helping clients out with. You don't have to put a lot of money. You get free money from the government. Would you want to set up a time to learn more about that? Yeah. Because now it, now it, it, it makes it less, there's less of a commitment from the client. And it's like, yeah, I, there's no harm in that. But when you say, are you interested? It's like, you're, you want them to make a decision right then and there. So you guys see the difference between that, right? So take that interested. I know it's hard because naturally we say that, but try to take that out of your vocabulary and rephrase it to a question. Would you want to learn more? Would you want to explore that? Would you want me to explain that to you? Would you want to come in and I can break it down for you? Right. Would it be helpful if I explain that to you or sent you that information? I, I, I use words like benefit. It, it, would you find any benefit in that? Yeah. Would, would that be a benefit to you? Would that, would that be, be a, a value to you? Right. Would right. that be a value to you? Right. Is that something that you, that, that would help out your situation? Right. There you um, go. So, so, so using those terms like that, gets them gets the gets the mind moving forward right it's yeah. the difference between you telling them and, and, and again if you're a parent this makes it a lot easier right because you you you, it, you have to 
you, and, and when you, I, I've talked to when I've talked to you guys, I say, hey, listen, pretend like you're having a sales conversation with kids and you're having a conversation uh, like you would have, like you would have a conversation with your kids or your nephew, right? Is the difference between me telling them not to put their hands on the stove, right? Or me explaining to them what's going on if they put their hands on the stove, right? Yeah. So make sure that you, let's try that different framework as opposed to telling, right? Yeah. The second thing that I want to leave you guys off with is that not every client, not every, not every lead is a client. Uh, 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 you guys, everybody was trying to figure out ways of, of uh, convincing these people to be your client, right? Uh, but by asking better questions, by asking questions, you'll be able to figure out if they're actually even going to be a client for you or not, right? Yeah. The, um, so I'm not interested. That's a big one right there, right? Well, what aren't you? What, what aren't you interested about? Those are asking them questions and getting them engaged, and then you are going to make the decision if the prospect is going to be good enough to be your client or not. Because yeah. nobody declined a client. A client. I mean, there should have been some times where I should have been declined as a client, right? Yeah. The conversations that we had today. But it's now you guys as agents have to recognize that hey, this guy might not be for me. But you know what? Let me figure out if he is for me by asking these certain smart questions that would get me along the way to figuring out that answer, right? Yeah. The psychology, guys, in sales, there's a lot of psychology, right? And you want to sell the appointment. You want to sell the benefits of meeting. You're not selling them to work with you on a phone call because we still don't even know if I want to work with them. We still yeah. don't even know if they're realistic. Maybe we do meet with them and it doesn't make sense for them to buy, Right. So what you want to sell is you want to sell the appointment and why we need to meet so that we can figure this stuff out together and give them some clarity on where they stand, right? So position yourself as that, as the advisor, as the consultant. Hey, let's sit down. Let me explain that to you. Let me break it down. Would that be a benefit to you if we broke it down for you and, and gave you some clarity, All right? All right, let's wrap it up, Rob, because we're over time. Yeah. Um, good job. Good, good input, guys. Good feedback from Rob. And good job on everyone for participating, guys. So let me know if you need anything. I'm going to put in Slack. Please respond for your prizes. All right. Let's go. Happy birthday again, Connie. Let's get it. Later, guys.